The piece of advice that I would have is look for solutions in unexpected places. Uh, that's the only way that we're going to get the transformational change that we need instead of just the incremental change. Look, if you were trying to improve the transportation industry in 1900, you would have been trying to breed better horses and grow more nutritious oats. Uh, but you should have been keeping your eye on Henry Ford, uh, who was uh, coming up with the ideas for the Model T. That's what transformed transportation. And so we need to look for people in unexpected places. A lot of the people we need to lead this movement are not even in the movement. They're probably working in private industry. We have to find them. Some of the ideas that we need uh, are, are not uh, more of the research uh, that we've reiterated over and over again. Maybe the transformational step is finding better ways to communicate that research to new audiences. These are, the, uh, these are solutions that come from unexpected places, and our leaders should be coming from the, the film industry, the entertainment industry. Uh, they, should be, they should be coming from uh, private business as well as academia. Our roots are in academia because uh, these ideas need to be grounded in research, but it doesn't end with, academ with the academic approach. I I'm thinking of my uh, colleagues in the movement, uh, co-laborers in the vineyard of freedom, and I want to tell them to don't be discouraged. Uh, I, want, I want them to know that uh, defeats are part of the package and that victories are never made uh, cleanly, uh, directly, swiftly, not in the freedom business anyway. Uh, we have to expect it and anticipate it and understand that it's just, you know, it's just natural. So I would say don't be discouraged, stay positive because pessimism is self-fulfilling, and always keep looking uh, for others uh, who can come along beside us.